All right, all you Poco X3 Pro users out there, there is a new AOSP based custom ROMs out there and we are gonna install it. We're gonna have a first look at it and it's going to be very, very interesting because there are quite a lot of things about this ROM that are very, very interesting. So stay tuned till the end of the video. But before that, remember to follow us on Telegram because we have more than 2000 members over there. You can got help over there. You can chat with me and all the other things. But before we get into the details, well, if you haven't already, please subscribe because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this. Now, without further ado, hello awesome people. Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. All right, so first things first, we are on the home screen and let's see if we can find anything different over here. We're just gonna increase the brightness a little bit so that we have some clear view as to what exactly we are looking at. Now, of course, I've not signed into Google yet, but the moment you go to the app drawer, you will see that you have a Gcam included, which is always a good thing. And it does have option for different lenses over here, which again is a good thing. Now, if we talk about Gcam even more, you will have things like uh, 60 FPS and 4K 60. All right, so Gcam apart, this ROM feels really, really smooth. That is one of the highlights of Android 13. So let's actually go to settings about and tap on the Android version. Of course, you have this beautiful Easter egg of 1 p.m. or a.m wherein you do get very, very different sort of, uh, you know, animations here. So that is good. This is the name of the maintainer, September security patch. ALN AOSP kernel is what they have. And as you can see, not many apps in the app drawer. So pretty, pretty simple, straightforward and basic. And right from the word get go, it feels very, very smooth. Now, even if you go to the edit menu of quick tiles, you will see that you do have some customization options. So that clearly, you know, gives us a hint that this ROM is not highly targeted towards customizations like other ROMs like Spark OS or Resurrection Remix. Wonder what happened to Resurrection Remix these days. Anyways, now apart from this, let's actually go to settings here and let's see if we have anything different. Now, one thing that is different is wallpaper, right? So let's actually go to the wallpaper chooser over here, wallpaper in style, change wallpaper. Again, there are a lot of wallpapers which are missing and I really would encourage all the developers to give us as many wallpapers as you all can because we love wallpapers, right? Now, home settings, well, you'll get pixel experience launcher, nothing new, nothing fancy here. So what I get from this ROM is this is a very, very basic AOSP styled ROM. It doesn't have a ton of features. This is something on the lines of Lineage OS, as you can see. I can't even see the gaming mode or, okay, at least we have thermal profiles. So that is a good thing. And if you go to battery, you can at least enable the battery percentage and battery temperature feature is also present over here. But if you further go to say sound and vibration, you don't really have a lot of options. If you go to say display over here, you will see that you have all the options and you can set it to all the way up to 120 hertz. Tap to wake is present. And apart from this, you know, insecurity, fingerprint and all the other things, we will cover that in the complete video. But all in all, less AOSP is a pure sort of an AOSP ROM. Very, very minimalistic. Not many features or options available. So this is a quick, you know, reminder that ASP ROMs, the lighter they are, they work better. Now that we've had a quick first look at this wonderful ROM, let's actually go ahead and see how we can go ahead and install it. All right, now that we've had a first look at this particular ROM and it's interesting and all, you really want to know how to install it. So that's what we're going to do exactly right now. Now, let's see what the details are first. This is less AOSP 1.0 official and it works on YU and Bima both released on the 1st of October. So this is the latest, latest build that we are talking about. Initial official release added my or MI parts or me parts, whatever you want to call it, added new Gcam, fix Gcam issues, fix recording lag, fix minor issues, tweak banner in settings, disable vSync for CPU rendered apps. This is a beta build, OSS based, include G apps, firmware, any region can be used. SE Linux is enforcing, safety net should be passing, and that is about everything. Now, I need not remind you that whenever you're flashing a custom ROM, you need to make sure of a few things. There is a checklist that you need to follow. First of all, you need to have a device which has an unlocked bootloader and a TWRP recovery installed. Now for this particular device, there are only two files that you will need. 
the latest firmware for your region and the custom ROM itself. So that's what we are going to do. And apart from this, you need to ensure that you have more than 50% battery. You backed up all the data on your device because of course, we're going to format the phone. And you also need to ensure that you've removed your security, face unlock, fingerprint unlock, MI account, Google account and rebooted the device once. Okay, now once you've taken care of all these basic things, you should be good to go. For which what we're going to do is press and hold power. We're going to go to advanced and we're going to go to recovery. Now, in case you are on MIUI, you need to press and hold volume up and power until it, you know, keep it pressed till the time you see the POCO logo. And POCO logo is what we have. And bam, we are in TWRP. Okay. As you can see, we are in TWRP. Let me just adjust the brightness there for you guys. And this should be looking much, much better, right? So if you click on install, you will see that I have the firmware and the ROM over here. So let's go to wipe, advanced wipe, Dalvik, data, cache. We are not going to wipe anything else apart from these three. Internal storage is where our files are. So we will not be touching that. And now let's go to install, select the firmware, add more zips, select the ROM, swipe to confirm flash. Now this flash will not take more than 45 seconds. So you should be good to go. Let's wait for the flash to complete. And while the ROM is flashing, I definitely have a question for you guys. What do you think the future of custom ROMs is? And do you think other device manufacturers should also allow custom ROMs? Because recently I was using the Realme GT2 and the GT2 Pro. There is, you know, support is as good as none for these devices. And I really felt that although Realme UI is pretty, pretty good, if these devices could get custom ROMs, it would be really, really interesting. Now we are halfway through and let's wait for the ROM flash to complete. All right. So just like that, the ROM has been flashed. We will go to the main screen. We'll go to wipe, format data and type in yes. This makes sure we don't have any encryption or decryption issues. And then we will click on reboot system. Now I am really interested to see the boot animation on this ROM. Okay, L-O-S-P, a pretty fun boot animation there. So let's wait for the device to boot up. Okay, just like that we are on the setup screen and we are quickly going to skip the setup part because we want to quickly confirm that we've booted into this wonderful ROM just fine. Okay, so as you can see, we've booted into this particular ROM just fine. So that was the first look and install video for you for less AOSP on the Poco X3 Pro. I will see if I can do a complete review. For now, this is Kalash signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.